Oh, yeah! But let's end the SmackDown show and it because it starts out with the bloodline coming out. The tribal chief is acknowledged by Indianapolis and Paul Heyman rips on the city and says they're not being very oozy tonight. And that's when he says the Usos versus the New Day is not a great rivalry because no one can compare to the Usos. Heyman does a spiel here where he just puts over the Usos. And this is kind of the kind of the first time he really talks them up. Um, so this is something new that we've seen here. Roman then takes the mic to say it's not easy being his cousins because their entire lives, everyone has acknowledged Roman for his greatness. But after what they achieved tonight, it sounded like he was about to acknowledge the Usos. But that's when he's interrupted by the brawling brutes, Butch and Ridge Holland, who come out to say they are sick of the bloodline using the numbers game. And tonight is fight night. And they've brought back up. And that's when Seamus makes his return. And Seamus comes down and he tries to cut a promo on Roman. But the <laughs> mic keeps cutting in and out. <laughs> and because of the mic doesn't want to work, Roman fires back, making fun of him for that. And that's when the Brutes just run into the ring and they begin to brawl it out with the bloodline. The bloodline still outnumber the Brutes until Drew McIntyre comes out and we get a face-to-face fight between McIntyre and Solo for the first time since Clash at the Castle. McIntyre takes out Solo, then Roman takes out McIntyre. And Sheamus and Roman Reigns exchange blows. The Bloodline and the Brutes, along with Drew McIntyre, continue to battle it out until the show goes off the air. I think this is our men's uh, War Games matchup, Rob. What do you think? I like announcing it this way without having to have some cheesy line like Bianca Belair did. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't need. I don't. I don't need like a. Uh, an announcement for the crowd to say this is a war games match. We all know these teams are heading that way. Just fucking announce it like on a big screen, whatever, like just make it official. Uh, we just got to wait to see who that fifth team member is. Um, I like Drew McIntyre. I think we talked about this a while ago that Drew McIntyre was going to be one of the members uh, to join the Brutes in this match. So we don't have the fifth yet. Uh, we will get there eventually. I also love how the Brutes interrupted Roman before right before he was going to compliment the Usos. And this is my favorite trope in wrestling. It's when um, something bothers you like really intensely, but you have to wait a whole week to, to talk about it on television as if you guys don't live your lives at all on the other six days. Of the week. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, so of course we're probably going to get some sort of comment next week about the Usos being like, no, not even, not Jimmy, just Jay, just Jay saying something to Roman about like, Hey man, you were about to say like compliment us. Are you about to say something nice about us? And Roman's just going to be like, nah, dog, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Like he's going to dismiss it and it's going to be great. Uh, so I love that for sure. Um, again, dude, I never thought I would say in 2022, Seamus would be as over as he is like that guy. And when he had like his written mania match and I was a mania 26, I think against triple H, like he was super over then. Uh, and he had some moments where he was also over, but who would have thought in 2023, Sheamus is as popular as he is, man. It's so cool. Uh, like he's, he's another guy on the list and I'm just rooting for so hard. Like I really you, am. So who do you have joining the brutes and Drew McIntyre? So this is just for me, for my own fantasy booking storyline of the Usos dropping the belts at Mania to Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. So I'm hoping Owens is in the match um, as the fifth member, but that's just me. So who do you got? It makes perfect sense. You put if Sami is the fifth member of the bloodline, we didn't get a mention of Sami throughout this entire show, really. Um, so we it just said personal what- matters. Yeah. So, yeah, who knows what's going on there. Um, so, yeah, like like you said, 
definitely Kevin Owens would make sense. That would also mean making him a part of SmackDown. But yet we've seen him appear on SmackDown and stay a part of Raw. Yeah, he's, uh, no, I mean, I, I like Raw. Honestly, um, the way Raw's been flowing lately, I've, I've actually enjoyed Raw immensely. I, so I think the players that they have on there are working well. Um, I think you could still add a couple, but I don't think Kevin Owens is a guy on that list that needs added. I think he can work either way. Um, he, to me, he's a utility player that has potential of being a big star. Um, and I think right now his role is best served on SmackDown with the Bloodline um, storyline because it just makes way too much sense. And um, as to me in wrestling, sometimes the most obvious story is the best story and you don't need to surprise us. Just tell the best story that's available. And the best story right now is Kevin Owens being involved in the storyline eventually and him and Sammy being tag team partners who beat the Usos at Mania for the belts. That's the best story. So just fucking tell it. Thank you for listening to Cream of the Corrupt Wrestling. You can embrace the madness by finding us on Facebook at facebook.com slash cream of the corrupt wrestling. Follow us on Twitter at cream of the corrupt W. Subscribe to our YouTube channel by typing cream of the corrupt wrestling in the search bar. Have fun with us on TikTok at cream of the corrupt wrestling. And you can always find full episodes of the podcast wherever podcasts are found. Nothing means nothing. Man. Nothing means nothing. What do you mean by that? Or I'm talking about all the way to the top. Yeah. Unjustifiably in a position that I'd rather not be in. But the cream will rise to the top. Oh, yeah. You know that I'm the cream of the crop. The cream of the crop. Nobody does it better. Oh, yeah.